Oh yeah. We're getting we're getting to that frame drop immediately. Well, this is the famed Genesis World Academy after all. So it's definitely not your average school festival. Well, we are expecting a lot more visitors this year than usual. Okay, I guess I can't go in there right now. I guess that makes sense. Food! Yes. Yes, I want to try some. Oh, there's three different flavors! I already have this kind. Hello, ladies! How would you like some light, fluffy popcorn? Is it a healthier option than candy? Is it though? Is it really? I think I'll find that the candy may be healthier for you to give to us. Plus two moves. Uh, er. Would you like some candy? It's super delicious, and it's better than popcorn! I was told to say that. Ooh, rainbow jelly beans. You know, this seems like a very good price. Oh, wait, it's Niall! Hi, Niall! Are you here for business or pleasure? Probably both. Lots of people in the entertainment industry were invited. Did you ever find a link between all those bits of information you found? I wonder. Actually, before I get into that, I'm hungry. I think I'll go fetch me some grub. I'm great at science and biology, but it's I'm really a novice in the kitchen. Oh well, I'll work on getting the basics at least. Yeah, I figured. But I can buy new stuff and it's there's still no one here. I'm amazed that, that the campus is so busy. My wife and I moved to Menoria years ago, but this is our first time visiting the Royal Academy. Ha! Yeah, she does look familiar, doesn't she? I see. Uh... Oh, it's this guy! I recognize this guy. It, it took me a few seconds. Well, Estelle and Joshua, this is a pleasant surprise. I trust you're doing well here. Were you invited here for the festival? Sadly, no. I'm here on other business. I've come to investigate a new discovery within the Sapphire Tower. 
I was hoping that the Academy could provide us with some useful materials. <laughs> well, I have to be. Research hasn't made me wealthy, so I'm fueled by pure enthusiasm! On a related note, the Academy's curriculum is divided into a few courses, right? Will there be any exhibitions? Hmm. I see. Was were you a student here, Professor Alba? I guess not. That would be helpful. But I'd hate to spoil your fun here. I see. Well, in that case, I would greatly appreciate you showing me to the exhibition hall whenever you have time. I'll be waiting for you right here in the cafeteria. I was really hoping you'd have something new for sale, TBH. Okay, well, hmm, I guess we'll check out the exhibits. Principal's not here. Oh wait, actually, one of the teachers is in here. Thanks for everything you did yesterday. I don't really have anything I need to do. I'm just staying here in case I'm needed. Probably good to have a teacher on hand for emergencies like that. I guess he would be greeting, uh, people who were invited. Hey, Karna! Hey, guys! Jean told me... John? It's John, right? <laughs> so you're just helping out wherever you're needed. More or less. Basically. The alumni here tend to be liberal celebrities from all walks of life. Every year they're invited back. Thus, the need for hygiene security. Well, just leave security up to me and you two can focus on helping out with the festival. I see. It's not. I've not seen you since last year's Royal Council, Mayor Delmore. Hasn't much changed since then. As you can see, I'm still feeling quite well. You'd like to be in good health also. I expect that today will be quite enjoyable. That rich small talk, that's. that's gross. Sunday school is nice and all, but this is the real learning. Talking through chalkboards. I get it. When we were students, this building wasn't even around yet. The building to the north used to be the main school building. Hmm. Well. Yep. Oh, I already have these. Well, the price is good, so... At least I think it is. I'll be manning the club's food stand all afternoon. So I need to get have fun while I can. It is a really cute outfit. Under normal circumstances, I'd never be able to get in here. It's exciting! Now, where's my little sister's classroom? Got to fulfill my obligations as her guardian. Mayor Maybell? Wait, Mayor Maybell? Oh, well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What are you doing here? 
Well, to tell the truth, I actually graduated from here. I always make a point of going to the campus festival each year. <laughs> but enough about me. How have you two been doing? Are you here on guild business? Sort of. Oh, so you're helping out with the play. I've always found them to be slightly tiresome. But if you're going to be on stage, I certainly won't want to miss it. <laughs> oh, Joshua. Fuck a lot. Get over it. Wearing a dress won't kill you. Um, long time no see you two. You look as energetic as ever. are on loan from the Zeiss Central Lab. In the end, we weren't able to finish setting up the displays. Somehow, though, it was all done when we came back in the morning. We were still in the middle of working when it was time to go home. Hmm. I took a day off work to see how my son has matured. Elena seems to be quite pleased as well. I need to be a better mother from here on out. Gotta turn the dotting up to nine! Hey, I wanna play! Ren and I don't share any classes or clubs, but we're still room together at the dorm. Whew, at this rate, it's gonna be difficult to breathe. I guess I should take advantage of the freedom to enjoy it while I can. Actually, you know, that would probably be a pretty good idea to deliberately, in a school like this, like it wouldn't work for any school, but in a school set up like this one, it would make a lot of sense that you would want your, you would want roommates uh, having classes that don't line up perfectly. Like, there are three main classes, right? So probably they go to one for like two or three hours each day. Like, they're probably in each class for two or three hours. So... Hmm. Just, like, cycling. Okay, you know, just... Never mind. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea. It seems like a good idea to me, but I feel like I'm not articulating it well. I'm not sure where to go next. Information desk? <laughs> oh! Calvard Republic. I've been busy with this year's research periodical. Is you not most of my time, actually? Hmm, my class is fairly low key. To be honest, I think the research periodical is pretty plain. But it's okay, I'm just glad we have readers. No haunted houses this year. Too cliche, I guess. Oh, I knew you looked familiar. So this is the canvas, which is funded through the royal coffers. As the queen's nephew, I had to give it a thorough inspection. Ah. Uh... I really feel sorry for this guy. Not this guy, but this guy. I mean, on the one hand, I think he's part of the problem, but, well, is that really true though? No, that is that is not a fair characterization. He is quite literally doing his job and doing it quite admirably, considering what a problem his job 
actually is. You cannot blame him for failing to act in disciplining the Duke, since he certainly has no authority to do so. Oh. Over here first. Oh, actually. You're hiding up here. Okay, that should do it. That's our projected budget. We should be okay since it's not that much. Hmm, I wonder what they are working on. Okay. To the social studies! Yeah, I feel like I've looked around just everywhere now. I haven't gone to the old building, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing back there. So... Oh, I didn't talk to that guy in the front gate, either. I never found Clem. Hmm. Well, you know, I've looked around most of the place, anyway. Well, well, you've certainly pulled out all the stops, haven't you? So many areas of interest for, for history to eco economics. From history to economics. Thank you so much. This looks like smashing fun. Who knows? He might hire one of the students, Logic, uh, as a, um... Assistant? Apprentice? I don't know. I could see that happening. Is it Chloe? That's interesting. Yeah, you say that, Joshua. <laughs> you say that, Joshua. Okay, well, let's wait. The Duke is not in there anymore. No, that's, that's the same thing you said before. Orbital compatibility tester. Now working. No electric shocks. We promise. Well, it doesn't that just fill you with... Uh, Orbital compatibility tester. Version 1.0014.4082. Uh, 12.02 Genesis Royal Academy. was a little frightening. <laughs> it did not like me trying to match make with myself, it seems. Oh boy. That startled me. Today will be an especially active day for both individuals. Your actions will cause your life to be firmly and meshed in another's. Because of lively conversation, when the two of you can be alone, the fire in your hearts may be kindled. Before you can be overwhelmed, take action. Your common goals and interests will carry your relationship further than it has ever been here. I wonder if this is completely rad- I mean, I don't think it's completely random, because when I input in the same person twice, that was definitely scripted, I feel. <laughs> uh, so, I wonder... Hmm, two 
very active individuals. Today is the ideal day to take on new challenges or foes together. All it will take is for each to suppress the impulse to force an opinion onto the other. If these two learn to respect each other's points of view, they will both grow more mature from the experience. Most importantly, they must each learn to consider the other's feelings. Let's do one more. <laughs> These two are in each other's company today. Uh, there seems to be a distinct awkwardness between them. A secret will be revealed, and if one lies, it will sow the seeds of distrust in the other. If they cannot find their common ground, conversation between them will do no good. Today is the day, either for compromise or for giving up altogether. Only time and distance will likely heal the damage done. I think we're good. <laughs> well, that was an interesting diversion. <laughs> okay, now what? What to do? Oh, hey! Oh, it's Clum! Oh, you're all here! Hey, kiddos! Glad you can make it! Are you having fun? Yeah, it's awesome! I hate so much- Daniel, that's too much candy. Yep, she's talking to those people over there. Here she is! Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for inviting us here today. The children and I have enjoyed it greatly. Hey, Miss Chloe, when's the play thingy supposed to start? We've all been looking forward to it. I see. Well, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Did you know that both Estelle and Joshua are going to be in the play with me? Oh, you'll find out. Oh, yes. Prepare to be amazed. Yes, although the continued goods through the continued goodwill of the innkeepers. That said, however. Hey, guys, do you want to see the costumes that will be used in the play? They're. There are pretty dresses and suits of armor. Oh, Clem. Estelle, in her monologue, why does no one ever say that about me? I didn't want to speak of this in front of the children. Yes, I've chosen to accept the mayor's offer. We will impose upon the Minorians no longer. I will tell the children today after the festival. That's sad, but I suppose you have no choice. Please, don't look at me so... Bransel is easily reachable by airship. Moreover, I can look for work while I'm there. If I save enough Mira, I'll be able to rebuild the orphanage someday. Hmm. Now then, let's find the children, shall we? I would imagine that they're a bit too much of a handful for Joshua on his own.
I don't think you should try that, Clem. I think that's a bad idea. I wish I could try on the white dress. Well, 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 looks like you're having fun. But where's Joshua? Eyes, nose. Mr. Joshua went looking for the guy with. What? Yay! He helped us out get out of the fire before. His hair is all shiny and pretty. What? <laughs> Oh, hey, Paula, you have your priorities right, but also, what the hell, Joshua? Ah! Uh, <laughs> gonna knock the socks off. Yeah, where did he go? Sure enough, it's the old school building. Um, I did actually forget to talk to the person who was standing in front of the gate. Uh, <laughs> this dorm is where I spent many a day when I was a student. I'm pretty sure it was this guy. Back then, there were foolish rumors flying about about a ghost. Well, times have not changed in that regard. Joshua! <laughs> Strange. I could have sworn, but it couldn't be. Joshua! Damn right, us two! I almost had a heart attack when you I heard you went chasing after some guy with silver hair! Silver hair, Joshua! Silver hair! Uh, how did you know? Uh, she's a pretty sharp-eyed kid. I did follow a man matching that description this way, but I guess I lost him. Any idea who he was? I'm afraid not. I don't think it was our arsonist, though. I tailed him for as long as I could. By the way, why do you run off by yourself? Yeah. Why'd you do it, Joshua? Silver hair. You could have at least left us a message. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. Estelle, cut that out. I was just pointing out the importance of teamwork. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Not five minutes ago, you were in a total panic. You were. Well, we better run over there. Good thing we already killed all the monsters. Maybe that achievement was for killing the monsters early, because I certainly would have had the opportunity to do it now. Hmm. All play personnel, please report to the auditorium right away. Thank you. Uh, what about that guy with silver hair? Hmm. I suppose that all we can do is let Karna know, and warn her to keep an eye out. Uh, 
It seems I would not have been able to do it with Joshua regardless, though. Hmm. The three then spoke to Karna about the silver-haired man and left for the auditorium immediately afterwards. Thirty minutes later, I've been waiting for this. In fact... I'm going to I'm going to take a 2 minute break to uh, to get more tea because like I want to be fresh for this. <laughs> so I'll be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> 